Hello everybody. Today we're going to make some salmon and I'm going to show you how to make Parmesan crusted asparagus. It's a really good meal, really easy to make, a good easy do-it-yourself type recipe. So we're going to go into the grocery store and I'm going to show you everything that you need to make this awesome meal. Also, if you like this video or if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give us a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. So first things first, I got to do something about this hair. This hair is uh, bothering me. So we're going to get it all chopped. Um, let's work a little magic in three, two, one. Okay, much better. All chopped off here. Let's go in the grocery store. We're going to cook us some salmon. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your salmon. I like to get the Atlantic salmon fillets. I get about a pound and I go for the thick piece. I'll show you guys later. He already cut it off for me here. Um, but I go for the thickest, like middle section I can. You want to get about a pound if you're cooking for two. So we got our salmon, got it all bagged up there for me. Like I said, I got about a pound. Um, a pound is good for about two people. Uh, three or four, pound and a half should feed four people, honestly. Next thing you want to get is a fresh lemon. This is real important for the fish, one of the main ingredients here. Next on the list, you want to make sure you get a good bundle of some fresh asparagus. I always check the tops of them here. Uh, the good ones kind of have like a little bit of a purple to them at the top. So you want to try and get the ones that got like a nice little purple tint. One ingredient you will need that we already have at home is butter. So you want to get a stick of butter. I'll explain it when we get back, but you will need a stick of butter for the fish. Okay, the next ingredient you're going to want to get is shaved Parmesan. Should look like that. We like the private selection. Uh, I'm shopping at Kroger, so if you have a Kroger's near you, this is their, one of their brands they sell here. But it's the private selection shaved Parmesan. And last on our list today, you want to get extra virgin olive oil. Any kind of extra virgin olive oil will work. Okay, so we're back home. Two things you're going to need. You're going to need a cookie sheet and a baking pan. We're going to cook the fish in this and we're going to cook the asparagus on this. Um, you do need aluminum foil. We're going to foil both these pans. Okay, we got both our pans foiled and ready. We're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. You wanna make sure that you let your oven preheat all the way to 400 degrees. We're gonna cook the asparagus first. It takes about 15 minutes once your oven's preheated. Okay, so we have our asparagus. Now, normally you have to cut Normally, if they're not cut, and you can tell because they'll be real woody at the bottom, uh, these were pre-cut, but normally these will go out an extra couple inches. You want to make sure that you cut off about two inches of the bottom, because you'll notice because it'll be really purple down here. You want to cut that off because that's not really edible. It'll be too solid. But after you get to that part, you lay these out here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're going to put a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to mix it all together. Okay, you can have it clumped up like this a little bit, because what we're going to do is you're just going to put a little bit of salt, just put it all around it. Don't need much. And you're going to put some pepper. Not too much. You're going to take your olive oil and you're not going to add too much at all. You just want like just about a about a tablespoon. I kind of just side out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all these and we're going to take our hands. And we're just going to kind of rub the tips at the top with the salt and the pepper. And we're just going to kind of glaze it all up and down. You can use both hands. I'm just trying to use the camera here and show you. But you want to kind of mix that tablespoon of olive oil. You really want to get the tips because these are the parts that everybody likes. And if you get these real good, they'll come out real nice and crispy. 
Okay, so next, you want to make sure that you layer out the asparagus. You don't want to have it too far apart because we're going to add the Parmesan cheese, mostly focusing on the top parts here. So you want to take your shaved Parmesan, and what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of layer it on top. And don't be shy. This, you know, you can use this Parmesan for anything, but you want to make sure that you really kind of cake these on the top parts here, because this is what gives it the awesome Parmigiani flavor. Just kind of don't worry too much if it falls off the edge. That's nice crispy cheese you're gonna have for later. And then I just kind of do a little bit down the stalk doesn't have to look too pretty you do want to make sure that you get them on the little top parts there that's the best part of the asparagus turning a healthy food into a not so healthy food but hey that's pretty much it. You can put the rest of your cheese on the rest bottom parts here, but it's not going to cook as good. So what I usually do is I just do the top layer here about halfway up and just layer the shaved Parmesan on top there. Once the oven gets set to 400 degrees, you'll put this in the oven for 15 minutes. Don't cook it any longer than 15 minutes because they'll start to whittle if you do. Okay, so next... While we're waiting for the asparagus to cook, we're going to prepare our fish. We're going to take the fish out. What I like to do is I'm going to coat this with a little bit of butter at the bottom and lay the fish on top. And we're using country crock. Now, if you're at the store, you could pick up a stick of butter. That way you can cut up a couple little slices of butter to put on the fish. I'll show you what I'm going to do with the country crock. Works just as good. And you're going to want to cut off a couple slices of this lemon here. Okay, so you can see where I went in a circular motion here on the foil with the butter. That's where we're putting the fish. You don't have to put butter all over the pan, just, just where the fish is going to be. Okay, so we got our fish on here. Now what I did was I took a tablespoon, and because I don't have an actual stick of butter and I'm using country crock, I take a tablespoon, three tablespoons of butter, not quite a tablespoon, but just enough to where you can get three spots on the fish. And then you want to cut three generous size slices of lemon. You just lay it on top there. And that's okay if one's layering over the butter. This is going to be cooked at a higher temperature. So when the asparagus comes out, we're going to actually turn the oven up to 425. And then we're going to cook this fish for about 20 minutes at 425. Now, if you want to, I'm going to do this this time since I have some extra shaved Parmesan left over. I'm just going to take some of this Parmesan and those spots where you see fish that are open, I'm just going to lay some in there. This will add a nice Parmesan flavor to your fish. And you, you know, you can put it all over if you want doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the lemon. I'm just going to scoot that over. And you don't want to cake this with Parmesan, but that'll, that'll help bring in a nice cheesy flavor. Because we're cooking the fish at such a high temperature, it's going to cause the top of it with the cheese to crust over. Basically calling it a Parmesan crusted salmon. So, you don't have to do that step if you have the extra cheese. I recommend it. It'll taste awesome. And this is an awesome meal in about 40 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Now before we take the asparagus out, we're going to crank this up to 425. And now we're going to take out the asparagus. Don't forget your oven mitt. Okay, so we got our asparagus out. Again, 400 degrees, 15 minutes. You can see all the cheese is melted on top there. The asparagus is cooked. We're going to move this off to the side and put the fish in. 
Okay, well the oven's preheated to 425 now. We're going to cook this fish for about 20 minutes. But most people, when they say you cook asparagus and you take it out of the oven, you just take it off the pan as fast as possible. I don't do that. I don't think it really matters too much. It might stick a little bit on here with the cheese. Just kind of use a fork. Make sure you're careful that you don't pull off aluminum foil with the cheese. If you let it sit for a little while, when you pull it up, it should come up real easy. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Salmon is done. You can tell because it'll be a real light pink. So you know it's done all the way through. It's cooked all the way through. Four, 425 at 20 minutes. I'll tell you what, that looks pretty good. Okay, so what I kind of do is when it's done, I kind of just take a knife and kind of just push on the top of the lemons a little bit. Help get a little bit more of that lemon flavor in there. And you'll just take these off. If you did the Parmesan cheese, you kind of want to, you don't want to waste that. So you want to kind of scrape it. Should come off pretty easy off the lemon. And after that, you should be able to just cut right into the salmon there. And the skin will be on the bottom. But this will come right off the skin. Um, it'll the skin will stay flat. That's why I add the butter. It helps helps keep the skin and separate this, the meat part, and this, it should come right off. As you can see here, I was able to just use a fork, and I just kind of spooned a piece off. It came separated right from the skin, nice and easy. Okay, and there we have it. Here's our asparagus. Got the Parmesan crust on here, a little bit of Parmesan crust on the salmon here. It's absolutely delicious, and you can tell, or you can see, that it's nice and tender. It just kind of flakes apart. Looks delicious. Okay, well that's going to do it. Um, nice easy meal, do it yourself at home type meal. Done in about 35-40 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. With all that being said, I'm out, and remember, the adventure is out there. Enjoy.